There is so much going on at the moment, but it's all good stuff. Today, I have had quite a leisurely start to the day. I've been organizing outfits because coming up is a trip that if you would have asked me right now to put together an itinerary for a trip that I wanted to do with an overnight stay, this pretty much is exactly it. Lydia and I are gonna be heading to the Goodwood Estate and we're gonna be staying in the Hound Lodge. And this is all part of celebrating Creed's latest leather collection goods, which is coming out at Christmas time. It's going to be hosted by Erwin Creed himself. Erwin Creed is the son of Oliver Creed and they're obviously part of the Creed family. I'm just gonna get the door, two seconds. I'm not quite sure where we got to, but Oliver and Erwin are obviously part of the Creed family, which was established, as I understand it, in the 1700s by James Creed. Oliver was looking back at some of the photos from when they were traveling and exploring the world. And he had noticed and picked up that there was some fantastic leather luggage uh, that they were using. And so he decided to put together the leather collections. They have already released a Explorer leather collection, which is a beautiful leather pouch, which you can use to put your 100 ml fragrance in when you're traveling to keep it safe. And I just think it's actually a really lovely touch. And so I think I've shown this on my channel already before, but I will be sharing with you the latest collection that they're launching when we get to Goodwood. So we're going to be arriving and doing a bespoke driving experience on the famous Goodwood motor circuit. And then we're gonna be having a banquet dinner, which should be really nice. There's a great group of people going. And then the following morning, we're gonna be going clay pigeon shooting. So we've got a fantastic 24 or 36 hour experience over at Goodwood. I'm really looking forward to uh, heading down there. And I've been putting my outfits together for this this morning, ready to pack to head down. Talking of packing, today's video is in partnership with Carl Frederick, and they are a company that specialize in leather accessories. And that collection consists of practical but refined everyday essentials from wallets to briefcases, and in today's case, luggage. So I'm gonna take you upstairs and we're gonna get packed ahead of Goodwood using my brand new Carl Frederick suitcase. As you know, my room's under renovation, so I thought I'll quickly come out into the hallway because soon the tradesmen are gonna be arriving to do some work. So this is the Carl Frederick Carry On Pro. Just for reference, it does come in larger sizes. I wanted something that was a little bit more elegant for when I was traveling, and this is exactly what I was after. So it has a polycarbonate shell, which is renowned for being light, long lasting, and processing high levels of impact, which for any of you that have traveled, have received your suitcase back after it's taken its journey across the water, you will know that they're not treated with kindness. So it's great to know that this has a robust shell on it. The suitcase actually comes with lifetime warranty, which brings me great confidence with both the company and the product itself. So just to talk you through a couple of the features that this suitcase offers. Hopefully you can see us both a little bit clearer now. So back to the suitcase, it has a dual combination lock system on the side of the suitcase, which you can change this really easily. If you open up the lock inside, there's a little switch that you can click across to set. You can set your code, flick it back to off, and then you'll have your new code set inside. So you can continually change your combination and you can do that on both locks independently. To open the suitcase, you just click the two buttons that are either side of this combination lock. It'll open up and we can open up the suitcase and take a look inside. But before we do that, at the rear of the suitcase, you'll see that there's an adjustable handle, which I always find very convenient. This is nice and long, so depending on what height you want it, you can set that to your desired height. It also has a dual USB port on the back. This is a optional extra that you can add onto the suitcase. So if you're ever caught short of a charge, then this has you covered. It has a very durable aluminium frame that runs around the center of the suitcase. And as you can see on top of the suitcase, we have our personalized leather tag, as well as the handles on the suitcase also being leather bound. Now let's talk a little bit about this leather. I feel like this detail deserves a little bit more of a close up look. So this is a full grain fascetta leather, which is produced by artisans in Tuscany. They use a technique called vegetable tanning, which is what gives us this really nice rich finish. The leather's super soft 
and you can have these tags customized. You can see I've had AG stamped on mine. And you'll see at the front of the suitcase, they have their signature band, which is situated on the front of the external hard shelled pocket, which we'll take a look at in a second. So there's a closer look at the combination locks down the side, the aluminium frame, and as well as the Carl Frederick embossed leather handle on the side. So it's a very well finished suitcase. I think it looks extremely smart. It's exactly what I was after when I'm traveling abroad. And if we quickly take a look inside the hard shelled pocket, you'll see that we have loads of little compartments, which is fantastic for travel. You can get pens in there, passports. You've got this meshed cover here, which you could just slip your wallet in or anything that you needed to access quickly or easily. So you can see what's inside there, such as AirPods, for example. And then at the rear of this compartment, they've got this, oh, lovely, look at that. Little leather detail on the Velcro there. You can slot in your laptop, which means that you can safely transport your laptop whilst traveling. So very well thought through indeed. And if we take a look inside, you'll see that we have two fully lined compartments with these buckled tie downs. And if we take a look into the right side, you'll see that just on the side, we've also got two zipped compartments here, which I find extremely useful when packing shoehorns and jewelry, etc. There's also the USB port inside this pocket as well, which is nicely hidden away. So if you want to charge your power bank, this is how you do it. Continuing the theme of the Tuscan leather inside the suitcase as well. It also has this nice little functional compartment, which is perfect for if you have any dirty laundry or anything that you want to keep separate from the rest of the items in your luggage. And now we've closed it back up, you'll see that we've got the 360 degree quad wheels on this, which means that it's super easy to move around when you're on the move. So that is the Carry On Pro. I will be leaving a link to this suitcase in the description box down below. I also have a 15% discount code that I'll be sharing with you in the description box as well. So I am very happy with my latest edition and I'm now gonna get it packed up, ready to head to Goodwood. Right, I am very impressed. I have packed and loaded my suitcase and these are the clothes that I'm gonna be wearing on day one. So this is my outfit set ready for us to head off tomorrow morning. I have my wash bag, toothbrush, fragrance brush, boots and gloves. And then on this side, I have my clothing that I'm gonna be wearing over the 20 to 36 hours that we're gonna be there. I haven't quite worked that one out yet, have I? How long we're actually gonna be there for? But this is what I'm gonna be wearing during my stay. And then if I quickly flip this over, you'll see that in the front compartment, I have, this is my Apple pen, my sunglasses. I've got my wallet in this little compartment here, my hard drive, and actually in the laptop compartment, I've managed to get both a laptop and an iPad in. So it's got a nice amount of depth to it. So if you have got quite a big laptop, then that should be sufficient to house that as well, which is good news. I also noticed that this actually flicks down all the way so you can open it fully. Unpop the two buttons and undo the Velcro and then you have full access to this section of the suitcase. So this will be used as a carry-on for when I'm traveling, but it does serve the purpose for this trip. So I'll leave all of the details, as I mentioned, in the description box below, and I'll be catching you guys when we get to Goodwood. Well, as you can see, we've arrived to the motor circuit. We are just oh, about to- They're just to... helmets, Ali. Hey, they're just helmets, it's welcome just helmets. Welcome to the vlog. Cooey, hello, <laughs> all right. He's gonna have a good afternoon, So what you? we're gonna do, no effing and jeffing. No effing and jeffing yeah. and a lot of driving. That's what we're gonna be getting In some down some exciting today. cars. <laughs> Which aren't particularly fast, but, but they are, are stylish. They are, fast. they are stylish, they are fast. They are fast. Okay. It depends how you drive it, doesn't it, Ali? It's very true, hey? very, it's very true. So we'll see how we Style go. Style over speed. Style over speed is the uh, motto of the day. Is the idea, yeah. The ideal. Well, we're going to hopefully drive a couple of these. Oh, we've got a Porsche over there. An yeah. MG. Yeah. Cool, we've got well all done. sorts going on. Loads BMW. Oh, you, you're, do you Alpha. drive? Do you drive? I might, I might have. Falcon, have you ever driven a Falcon before? No, I've not. Hey, no. That okay. looks like an American car. Is that it right is. or wrong? It's Ooh. an American beast. Oh. Got beast wow. Just. You look good in this one. The old mini. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
I've got a small head. You got pee head, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pee head down that end, though. Perfect, okay. Oh, sorry to do that. What's going to happen to my hair, though? It's going to look lovely. Okay. okay. You end up with helmet hair. Yeah. Who brought their own helmet? Oh, right, here we go. Like, shove it in. That's it. Is that too small? If it doesn't shake around too much, then it's all right. It's not crushing your head. I'll put it on one more time. You'll be in the end. I've got the helmets on. I can't hear myself talking. So, we're going to be heading out in this MG today. Yeah, it's going to be good. 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 Cool, it sounds amazing. I've got the helmet on, so I can't hear too well, but it sounds awesome. So, what I'll do is I'll get you to wow, jump on it, get you strapped in. I'll run you through the Perfect. controls and then uh, they'll okay to have this in my pocket. You can have it in your pocket, yeah. yeah. Obviously, you don't want it to fall out and no. get stuck under, under any pedal. Oh, wow, look at this. That is amazing. Right, we're going to pay some attention because I'm going to be taught how to drive this thing, so I'm going to switch off for two seconds. This is Jack, everyone. Hi. The instructor today, very brave man. <laughs> Let's put this away then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So round two, we're going to be taking the Jaguar out for a spin. Take a look at the dash. Oh, all the mahogany. Absolute stunner. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh, lovely. All good. Yeah. It's about the main man. House, isn't it? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> It does, it has a real uh, aged feel about it. Lovely. <laughs> the third and final car that we're going to be taking out today is the BMW. It's a left hand drive, so I'm a little bit nervous about this one, but let's see how we do. Well, we've just finished off on the circuit and I'm taking a quick look at the Creed Explorer leather collection pieces here. These are also the gift sets and some of their most prized fragrances. There's like over 60 fragrances in their collection. Of course, we'll all know Aventus very well. And these are the cases that you can get for when you're traveling around. They come in a 75 and 100 mil. They also have candles now, which I'm sure smell absolutely amazing. I'm actually going to ask to see if they've got Irish. Yeah, there it is. Green Irish Tweed. I've heard great things about this fragrance. So I'm going to give this one a smell to see how it is. We've just arrived to Hound Lodge and this is the suite that we're going to be staying in overnight. How stunning is that? We've got the his and her sink, which makes me very happy. Got the roll top bath, shower. And then if we take a look into our bedroom, look at those views, babe. They're just, that's just insane, yeah, isn't it? Watching. Yeah. Wonderful. It's so lovely because it's a bedroom on the ground floor, like our bedroom. Yeah. Which I love. I do actually really like it, yeah. yeah. I think that probably brings us a bit of comfort yeah. as well. Beauty station going on over here. Lovely. It's such a nice vibe in here, isn't it? And then we've got a bed, which has been generously decorated in Creed Goods. We have the new leather explorer collection candles atomizer and we also have their discovery sets which i think is a great way to get familiar with a brand i certainly am on a learning journey with creed I'm obviously very familiar with aventus but their other fragrances there are still so many that i want to discover i want to check out their oud fragrance we've been very spoilt and we're going to be getting ready this evening because we have a banquet Wow. So, oh my God. And everybody's going to be, everybody that's on this trip with us, we're all staying in the lodge. And so it just creates such a nice, cozy environment. And uh, it's a lovely group of people. So it's nice to catch up with some old friends as well. I'm going to get showered because I've got helmet hair. And we'll, why don't we film and get ready with me for your TikTok? But for my TikTok? Yeah. Yeah? Yes, yeah, do it. I didn't actually show you my outfit today. One for um, a bit more of a formal but relaxed gents look with the safari jacket. So I've gone for a shirt and tie, a uh, burgundy tie, and then I've got my suit supply safari jacket on, which is very comfortable. Question. Yes. Did you bring a steamer? steamer yes. Oh, and I also have 
my Crockett and Jones boots and my Dries van Noten herringbone trousers. So I felt like I was dressed perfectly for the motor circuit today, which by the way was absolutely incredible. I enjoyed it more than I realized I would because I can get quite nervous whilst out on those tracks because I sometimes struggle to kind of get my head out of the idea that we're in real life and I go into like gaming mode and I feel like I'm playing in like a simulator and so the risk element gets slightly lost so I'm constantly trying to remind myself you're not in a game you're not in a simulator this is real life be careful take it slow so we had amazing instructors anyway that did have uh, dual pedals so they were able to brake and accelerate or do whatever they needed to do to keep us both safe but I did enjoy it and I drove the Jaguar the BMW and the MG. So we managed to get out in three different cars today, which was amazing. We did three laps per car. So we got out on the track and had a decent amount of time out there. And each time I drove, I had probably one and a half to two laps getting used to the car. And then on the third lap, I could really put my foot down and really give it some on the track. It was fun. So hopefully we got some good footage because we had a little SD card that we popped into the car that were pre-rigged with cameras. So hopefully we get some good footage of us driving around, but we better get cracking because it's nice, isn't it? We're going to lose time. Yeah, yeah. It's like a mattress topper. Yeah. Very good. Liz and I have just finished a get ready with me over on TikTok. I think it's something that we're going to start doing more on each other's channels. And so if you want to get... Why's your camera so yellow? It's a good job I'm here to notice that his <coughs> camera is yellow. I watched it and I was like, why is it so orange? You're welcome. So as I was saying, Lydia and I are doing some get ready with me's over on each other's TikToks moving forward. Um, it's something that we'd noticed lots of people kept on requesting, so we thought, do you know what, let's just do it. If that's something that you'd like to see more often and keep up to speed with both of our looks for all of the events and occasions that we go to, because I don't particularly document both of our looks on this channel very often, then make sure you head over there and uh, check those out. But as you can see, I'm dressed relatively formal this evening. We have a banquet this evening hosted by Erwin Creed himself. I've gone for a double-breasted houndstooth jacket, not intended because of staying in the Hounds Lodge, just happened to be the case. This is by Reese. I've also gone for a navy tie from Reese. I've gone for a light blue shirt. I'm not sure if that's coming up on the camera. I feel like light blue works really nicely with brown. And so I've decided to team it up with a light blue shirt from Charles Tirrett. Not quite sure how to pronounce that yet. I need to do a quick Google. Um, I've got my Cartier Santos, my Pini Palmer single pleated trousers. And then I've gone with my boots from Crockett and Jones. I find that these work really nicely with slightly more formal looks because they've got a slightly more polished finish to them. So some of my more matte boots work really nice when we're going to less formal occasions. And then when we're going for dinners, I think that these work really nicely. So we're gonna go and meet the rest of the guys for some welcome drinks and then hopefully enjoy some lovely food. We've just come into the reception room to enjoy a drink in front of the fire. Yeah. Tommy and Andrea. <laughs> the Creek fragrance is on show. Oh, we've got a nice little drink selection going on over here. Oof. This is such a nice little spot. And then this evening, we're going to be having dinner at the end through that door. Um, like ridiculously long schnoots, like just yeah. absolutely ridiculous. The little trot. Lady is just taking a look at some of the fragrances. Oh, an oud candle. How nice would that be in the office? It's stunning. Right, that's dinner. Well, this is this evening's table settings. Yes. Wow, look how incredible this room is. Welcome again, everybody. I'm very happy to, to see all of you. Anyway, I don't do the schedule. I don't. Do, I, it's a kind of surprise for me also. So, uh, <laughs> I'm so happy because it's like a dream for me. You know, it's like oh yes, we do cars. We have a nice dinner, nice uh, location, and tomorrow we do like uh, shooting. shooting with the climb. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, thank you also to to make the, this happen. Uh, honestly, I'm like a, a guest. I'm not uh, <laughs> host of the thing, and I really enjoy. This is kind of good thing because we try also to to provide uh, some elegance we lack. It's not to to have a DJ, a famous DJ who is very noisy. And, uh, <laughs> so we go like uh, outside, 
and we love it uh, to to give you the, the what the taste we like. Uh, so that's why also when we launched Windflower, it was beautiful because we do a ballet dancing. So we try to go back to the roots because today the, the world is going too fast and too not in the good direction, I would say. Mm -hmm. So that's why this kind of thing, this kind of event, uh, it's belong to Creed and it's like uh, what we like. Mm -hmm. And so I enjoy to see you, each of you really well dressing instead of being <laughs> boring. But um, this is uh, the roots we like with the brand, you know, it's not to go to be trendy and we try to, to go back, you know, to what we like. Thank you everybody. Thank you. 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 Thank Marvellous. We've just come back to the room and the rain outside. Can you see? Oh, wow, yeah. That is absolutely That's thunder and lightning territory, isn't it? Hopefully we're getting this at home. Be good for the lawn. Well, as you can see, we're back in the room and we are ready for bed. We've had an absolutely lovely evening. We were hosted by Owen Creed and we got to actually sit quite close to him on the table. So we had some great conversation. He's also into golf, which is always an easy topic to chat about. We enjoyed some absolutely delicious food. We finished off the evening with a uh, cheese board, which as you all know, we're very fond of our cheese. And the evening even delivered us with a award for Lydia for being, um, what's a nice way of saying this? Um, for being a... My award was for don't quit the day job. <laughs> Because you're not going to be a racing driver anytime soon, essentially, is what the award was for. I embrace being bad at stuff because you can't be good at everything. It made me chuckle because I I just felt it was coming. And uh, when the goods were delivered, I was like, do you know what? It's actually dangerous because when your instinct is proven to be correct and you're just like, I, I knew that was coming. It's a dangerous place to be because then you can rely on it and you shouldn't always rely on your instinct but um yeah that was a very funny moment and um, it was just such a nice crowd this evening lots of laughs good food and we've managed to uh, get sped not at a ridiculous hour i think there's going to be some late nights tonight what time is it it's 20 past 11. Yeah, it's not bad. We're still we're still in the same day. <laughs> yeah, which that's is, always a, yeah, like you know you're in key. good territory when you're still in the same yeah, day. Um, it's very easy. Like we could very easily, right now, be drinking champagne in the snug area. Very tempting. And happily, happily. Oh yeah, there. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely got some left in the tank to keep on going. So, yeah. um, but we we try to make the mature decision, and uh, I'm really looking forward to going shooting tomorrow, especially after the other week with Purdy, which was such good fun um, to be able to do it again in such close proximity is fantastic because I feel a little bit more confident it is genuinely something that I would like to do more I've got some friends that are really passionate about getting into clay pigeon shooting and so with so many places to us locally that actually offer it it's something that I am seriously considering doing so uh, yeah tomorrow should be a really good day and I get to wear my brand new Purdy sporting jacket so a double win for me but um, we're gonna uh, get some shut eye so I'll catch up with you tomorrow for another day here in Goodwood this would be such a wonderful place for a small intimate wedding I don't even know if they allow weddings but imagine having like the ceremony in the orchard mm. and then people staying in the house here surely it's a vibe already uh, well I know you can rent the house Ex like it's only for exclusive hire so if you wanted to have like a birthday here or something i don't know if wedding if they're allowed to have weddings i'm not sure but i do agree with you it would be very oh it's absolutely but it would have to be stunning. a relatively small wedding yeah as i said yeah an intimate wedding it was very special mm. did i tell you that i um when i did my photo shoot the other day they packed one of my dressing gowns that clearly hadn't been like washed oh. and i'd obviously worn it with the dogs like jumping all over me 
So I kept going into my little cubicle to change. I'm like, why can I smell the dogs? Like, why can I smell cheesy twists? <laughs> and it's so weird. Like, it smells identical to the dogs. I keep walking in, it smells like cheese, cheese in here. It's your dressing gown. It was my dressing gown. <laughs> my dressing gown stank of cheesy sausage dogs. <laughs> and the moment that I realised it was actually them, I was like, <laughs> it's the best smell. You know that TikTok when they go, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, that's me. Yeah. I think they smell amazing. Right, we're going to bed. Yeah. Good morning. Today we are off clay pigeon shooting. It's a little bit wet outside, but I'm hoping that it's going to pass and we're not going to get too wet out on the field today. But I'm just about to go down and get some breakfast. Lydia's currently busy doing her day's makeup and. Um, we're gonna get packed up, checked out, and enjoy a morning out with the Creed team on the field. So let's go get some breakfast. What fragrance are you gonna wear today? I was actually just about to say. I just thought I think you should wear that um, green Irish tweed. Oh, yeah. oh yay! Mm -hmm. Morning, <laughs> so as part of Creed's discovery set, um, you'll see in this French royal blue, um, they have the fragrance that I've been wanting to try, which is green Irish tweed. Hopefully the camera picks that up. But inside we've got Aventus, Green Irish Tweed, Silver Mountain Water, Aventus Cologne, and I'm gonna to have to get a pronunciation check on this, but I think it says Milsim Imperial. So, I'm interested to see what that actually smells like. So yeah, today we're gonna to be going with Green Irish Tweed. Oh. So I'm like, and if there's a fit, he doesn't like fit. I adore fit. Because I'm like, I can use. We've arrived. I do like that rangy. It's mm. nice, isn't it? The silver grill is a nice touch, I think. Yeah, that's what I changed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We've just arrived to the lodge here at Goodwood. The instructors have just uh, given us all of our uh, instructions for today's shoot. I'm just having a cup of coffee, yeah. much needed. And then we're going to be heading out in groups of four, I think. All the gear. <laughs> a lovely one. You brought the weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Is it just four in your group or five? Oh, we're a four. You're a we're four, four, yeah. Brilliant then. Really? Awesome, awesome. Let's, let's go. go lovely. Uh, my name's Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. Lydia. We've just arrived to our post and we're currently shooting a clay that's coming across the front of us. We are very lucky because we've got a nice canopy over the top of us today because it is absolutely miserable. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a wet one, but you've got to do it in all. It's a wet one. It, it's a wet one, but you, I literally look like ridiculous. Look at the state of me with these glasses on. You don't have to wear them, babe. Well, what, oh, don't I? Only it's only the clays are coming over you, so they don't shatter on you. This is going away. Fantastic! So I look like the Terminator. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, no, but we've got to learn to do it in all weather, yeah, haven't we? we do, so yeah, it's yeah. good. But we are lucky because we have yeah. a roof over our heads. So, Mr. Tommy Brady's been up, absolutely nailed it. Very happy with that. Yeah, scoreboard looking strong. I mean, it's empty. Yeah, well, his, his was <laughs> yeah, a second yeah, ago. Was. Yeah, five out of ten. Carrying the team Five already. out of ten. Yeah. That's 50%. That's good. It's not. I need to I be up good. that to 80. Yeah, for the next, next one. one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We're just starting off though, aren't we? Do you leave both eyes open for a shot? You go, don't worry. Score. Oh, okay. Well done, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Nice, mate. I can see that I'm underneath it, but I'm yes. thinking I'm giving it time to like yeah, yeah, get yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Bit early, let it stop. Okay, You're a bit early then. Now. Now. Okay. 
Lovely. Perfect. Got it? Yeah. Just as it stops. Can you just say now? <laughs> and I'll do it. Okay. Right. Good point. Yeah. And you'll put the target up. Okay. There it is. Right, we've just finished off our shoot and uh, we managed to avoid the rain, which is perfect. And uh, it was really great fun, actually. Our team did okay. I'm not sure if we've uh, taken the win, but we certainly had a good time and that is all that counts. So um, we're going to warm up inside in front of the fire now, have a coffee and and that'll be our day done. Well, as you can see, we're back home and I've just finished off editing up to this point in this week's video, tonight's video, the one you're watching. <laughs> and um, I thought I just need to wrap this one up. So just to recap, really, a fantastic trip down to Goodwood. Driving on the motor circuit, being able to go out in some of those vintage classic cars was absolutely incredible. And then the following day, after a lovely evening, of course, um, hosted by Erwin, we went to shooting. Now, shooting, I was a little bit disappointed. I thought I was going to get a better percentage of hits than I did. Um, but for some reason, on the day, I was just... Uh, missing those clays. So hopefully with a bit more practice, I'll uh, level up my shooting game in the future. But I just wanted to quickly say a massive thank you to Creed for such an incredible experience. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on the journey with us. And we're back home. The renovations on the house are going really well. Ken's actually just finished off decorating uh, my room and I'm gonna be working on putting some wall lights up and organizing for the plumber to come back in to put the rad in. Lydia started to sit down and go through some of the furnishings that are gonna go in the room, which it sounds like we're gonna be going for like some nice chocolate leather seats, a lovely center island that will go on wheels. So that's all in motion. I've also removed the big mirror in that room and I think I'm gonna go for a freestanding mirror. Very similar actually to the mirror that I found in, oh gosh, where did I stay when I was with Genesis in Scotland? really beautiful country home. They had a freestanding mirror, which I thought could be really useful to move around the room um, and be able to stand in clean light. So at the moment, I call this contrasted light because the window's there and it's coming across my face. And if I face the light, I get a much better spread across my face. So to be able to move the mirror in front of my Veluxes would mean that I'd get a nice clean light as opposed to at the moment when the mirror's on the wall here, I get a really hard contrast. So. I thought a freestanding mirror would be more suitable to be able to properly see my outfits because it can be quite dark when I'm looking at the mirror on my wall. So to be able to face the windows would mean that I'd be able to see my outfits much more clearly, which I'm not saying is going to improve my outfits, but it means that at least I can see uh, my outfits uh, more clearly. So I'm so excited to share it with you. It's going to be in next week's video. I think in my humble opinion, uh, it looks a lot better. I know that style is subjective and I'm sure that there'll be many people that will say that they preferred the room before. This is something that I wanted to change for me and I'm very happy with it. I feel like there's a nice cozy vibe to it now. It's a bit darker, a bit moodier. Um, I feel like it aligns a lot more with what I love. And so as soon as we get some antiques into that room and we just fill it with um, all of the lovely furnishings that Lydia is gonna put in there for me, I know that it's gonna be A1. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you check out the description box for all of the relevant links and I'll see you next Wednesday. Take care.